Well, a season's greetings and tech the to you, you little chocolate guzzling, greedy, TV watching troglodytes. Welcome to Mr. Cringe's Chocolate Factory. Today, we put the finishing touches on the cringe corridor. We need a little more power. We need, well, actually, stuff to fill up the rest of it. It's kind of bare right now. And then I shall laugh from atop my chocolatey ivory tower and watch as many raiders die horribly to my traps. And it's going to be a great time. It's gonna, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be a real fun time. Very cathartic. But before we can begin all that, we have a few power issues to deal with. And more importantly, I think we need to do something with all the bodies. Because hopefully we're gonna generate one or two or uh, quite a lot from this one. So let me let me let me present you a very a very simple mind mind brain thought here for your brain. We are capturing, in theory, a few prisoners every time they run the cringe gauntlet. What do prisoners need to eat, my friends? That's right. Food. Which is currently corn and berries. Mr. Cringe is many things, but what he truly is, is eco-friendly. He's a very green man. I mean, not literally, he's a very, very purple man. But a lot of our power has been entirely renewable. We've had solar panels, we've had wind turbines, we've had geothermal power. In fact, there's one right there. And we're all about recycling here. And simultaneously, our prisoners need feeding. And I'm sure I don't even need to finish this thought. Why not build a giant conveyor belt connected up to every single room that automatically sucks the bodies out of anywhere they die, puts them on a big conveyor through this part of the mountain, leading up to a giant blender. Uh, in this case, I guess we would have to use the meat grinder, which is perfectly, perfectly adequate as far as I'm concerned. That grinds them up, then that has another conveyor plumbing them right into the nutrient paste dispenser. The prisoners eat their friends that died not so long ago. They're, they're still probably warm. No! There's a vending machine button. Allow guests to use this facility. We can feed them their friends and charge them for the privilege. <laughs> Oh, that is diabolical. I need you to hold on tightly to your gaming chair with cup holder and back massages, gamers, because I'm about to talk about the most cringe thing of all mathematics. There'll be a timestamp somewhere for those of you not brave enough to join me on this chocolatey journey. So we have a slight problem. Uh, Mr. Mr. Cringe has been doing the most cringe thing of all, and that's losing money in his business. So as I discovered yesterday at my behest after I milked a bear to do it, 40 raw cocoa is worth $1 a piece, right? That's $40 cocoa. You process that into 20 chocolate, $3 a piece for $60. All in all, $20 profit per batch. Not terrible, of course. Do you get to milk chocolate when it's 40 raw cocoa at $40 and then 10 milk at $19, $1.90 a piece. You process that into 30 milk chocolate bars at $2.50 a piece for $75. That's only $16 profit. It's less profitable to milk a bear than it is just to make chocolate. <laughs> you put that on a shirt. So Mr. Cringe got in touch with a guy. It's me. Hello. And for the factory, no, 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 that won't do. Why would you bother raising livestock and putting in all those extra effort, resources, storage for the milk only to have it make less profit? There's no incentive to doing it. And thanks to Mr. Cringe and that very same guy's number one business plan, we now have a slightly more profitable chocolate factory, not much more profitable. So... The most profitable of all is the white chocolate, which is 45 profit per batch. The milk chocolate is 30 profit per batch. And then just regular plain old chocolate from raw cocoa is $20 profit per batch. So it's definitely much more valuable to make milk chocolate now. You actually have an incentive to milk that bear, you know, rather than just doing it for a laugh. But there is still a reason to make regular chocolate on top of that. So I just thought that made more sense. I, th I thought that just made way more sense. It does make sense. Ah, the first chocolate refinery. There we go. That might help out with our... So, insert chocolate. Okay. Done. It is worth mentioning that um, I might have misinterpreted what the chocolate refiner actually did. Turns out it was a uh, workbench addition to this thing here, a linkable, similar to your mechanic cabinets, improved cabinets, etc. It doesn't actually refine chocolate. Or at least it didn't until it was patched in response to me getting it wrong. You shame me. <laughs> but on the plus side, now they're functional. We can have a whole room churning out a bunch of cringy chocolate. And we can move the workbench over here and speed that up too, which is quite nice. Good God, Discordia. <laughs> Holy crap, am I going to be able to make the chocolate fast enough at this point? Wow. Although I say that, we do have uh, one or two bars. Or oh, 45,000. Wow. That's a nice twist from, you know, like episode three where we had 100,000 cocoa and couldn't cook it fast enough. Now, I don't think we can grow the cocoa fast enough to fill the machines, right? Yeah, we don't quite have them fully fueled. So to help facilitate the ridiculous kill corridor, I've done a few base upgrades here and there, some of which are just aesthetic, but most of them are kind of workroom changes, but the factory itself. So we've got the full array now of chocolate refiners ready to go. We've got people working the actual refineries a little more consistently and... 
plenty of fuel for the chocolate generators. The problem with that is even with all of that fully fueled, we're down to minus 8,000 watts. <laughs> we still have plenty of room in the factory, but we can actually build the factory buildings now, right? Yesterday, we got the research for the mechanoid components, and I've used that to build a component assembler, an advanced assembler. The more buildings we build, especially in that bloody kill box, uh, sorry, cringe corridor, the more maintenance we're going to need to do. And that's what the group of loopers are here for. They keep everything running, right? So if we can take a little bit of the task away from crafting and move them over to maintaining the heater so we can boil our enemies faster, that's going to be very handy. There just has to be a better solution, right? Industrial candy generators output 2800 watts as well, so that's not really going to help out too much. What about bioreactors? What if we capture a bunch of loopers, we put out warrants on them, we feed them chocolate in the reactor, and they in turn power the whole base. Now, bear in mind the bioreactors are based on body size, and the loopers are kind of small. That's their, that's their entire thing. I mean, I could give it a go. It's another way to generate power from, <laughs> from chocolate and loopers, so I do kind of like it. Um, Why not? Okay, let's, let's give it a little test. Otherwise... We could capture some Jumper Lumpers, the bears. Sure, we lose a little less milk, but what we lose in milk, we gain in power. Bear power. Okay, Sprinkles, if we put you in a reactor... What the hell are we filling that up with? Was that fish food? <laughs> um, I, I, will, I would rather just fill it up with um, chocolate if it's all possible. I mean, we've got any... You know what? Let's just go ahead and say... Yeah, all chocolate. I think that's fine. Chocolate rat milk. Mmm, delicious. There you go. Any chocolate product. Right, get in. I want to see how this works. Uh, Mr. Cringe, come and fuel this up. Then we get to let sprinkles out afterwards. 800 watts per grouper. Man, we'd have to capture quite a lot, though, wouldn't we? All right, come and let him out now. I mean, maybe we could just use it as a way to use the survivors from the, from the corridor. It's better than just what? <laughs> Grinding them up? <laughs> Let's put the finishing touches on the current version of the cringe corridor, the cringe maze, the, the cringy everything. I've got a little Sigma over here making some tasers to attach into the heater room, one of which <laughs> is apparently a masterwork where Mr. Cringe smacks a lumper with dominance. Just let you stew that one over. I also want to make sure our people are more well equipped than they are currently. Dark guns, confetti poppers, hilarious. Not very good when we're being faced down by an army, or a military of loopers. Far more organized than we ever will be. The big problem we have now is no plasteel. <laughs> um, what on earth are we going to do about that? Where's my drill gone these days? Laffy? Laffy, I've lost the drill. Surely we've got some plasteel here somewhere, right? Salt? I don't need any more salt. I don't need any more salt. Not after creme brulee. Uranium? Uranium? Jade? Steel? Steel? Ruby? What the fuck is all the plasteel? Bruh. There's none on the map. Diamonds? Steel, steel, ruby. Oh, there's not a single piece of plastic. Are you kidding? Oh. Oh, yeah, that's really helpful. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't able to record for about 20 minutes there because Apple Pie's clothes broke off and she has giant slimy boobies. And if there's anything that is on YouTube Terms of Service that's probably going to get my channel banned, I imagine giant slimy boobies is up there. So it turns out you can also make them human with a delicious cookie, as everybody has been spamming in the comment section for the past week. So I'm going to have her eat... Uh, consume human cookie. And in theory, she should stop being a slime girl. God, I hope her clothes don't fly off, otherwise this is getting censored. Uh, she doesn't look very human. Uh, you, you good? I think she's identical. Did I, has she got to be a slimy cookie sent to a slimy girl? It's a cookie that disappears legs when a mincho with legs eats. Sorry? <laughs> okay, turns out it worked fine. That's okay. I, I can't show you for fairly obvious reasons. And then Little Sigma has churned out some very, very fancy looking assault rifles. You know, the type that you would expect to see in a theme park. And now all we have to do is wait. Just gotta wait for raiders. Just gonna sit here and wait for raiders to turn up. Any time now. We are, we are playing on Cassandra because there was just not enough raiders at all during Phoebe. It felt a little bit too easy even though we were on the same difficulty. You want to send me any raiders? That'd be good. I mean, how are we doing with factions, right? We've allied come and talk to in Discord here just because we've been, we've been a gracious host. You know, all of that ally score has come from them staying in our hotels. If we send a gift to the civilized bureaucracy and the moderators enough to get them neutral, then they'll visit here. They'll also gain opinion of us. The only people we can never ally to are the exploited natives. The, I mean, we could technically ally to the mafia, but the second the debt, 
interest kicks in, they'll hate us again. We could ally with the groupers. We're probably not going to do that fairly obvious reasons. And, you know, fuck the clowns. Let's get some transport pods loaded up then and see if we can convince some other people to come and have a look. Because it's a nice place. I don't know why you wouldn't want to visit. As far as they can tell, it's just a couple of very fancy hotels with a nice garden. I mean, there's not really much else here, to be fair. All the chocolate you could ever eat. My God. They really are enjoying it, too. Uh, bodies? No, not even bodies. Hey? <laughs> Someone disappeared. They obi wand it. They just left their clothes behind. And I will turn back on the spaceport as soon as I've got the power to do so. I mean, we, we have the power during the daytime. It's just I don't want to turn it on quite yet. How on earth do you win over multiple factions that want you horribly murdered? Well, it's very simple, isn't it? We're just loaded up with a staggering amount of chocolate. How much have we got kicking around? Oh, just thousands. We're going to load 1,999 in the drop pod. That's unfortunate. And we'll load up another 2,000. And then how about uh, another 2,000 in this pod? I'm thinking we load up another 2,000. And finally, another 2,000. That's 10 thousand bars will rain across the surface of this planet. I feel like this has been great development for the channel, you know. It was only a year ago or so when we were doing the Mechanoid Defense Force, and instead of raining chocolate, we were raining nuclear ICBMs. We've really, really taken a, a, a nice step, you know, towards morality and goodness and wholesome, <laughs> wholesome things. <laughs> what? What's going on? <laughs> Ah, we got an owl and a bear beating up a single uwu platypi. What? I didn't, I've never seen animals in remote work together like that before. That's incredible. Ooh, the delicious milky rat. Give me that. There's three of them now. <laughs> you got Mortal Kombat going on. Four of them. What the fuck? What, what's happening? I don't think I've ever seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> you go. You know what we plan to buy? If you survive this, you've earned a place in the colony. Oh, it's only 25,000 years old. It's got a few years on all these other more inexperienced predators. That's exactly why we're going to take one of those. Was that two-headed bear? That is exactly why we're going to take one of those, slap a berserk chip in it, and then put that in the middle of the maze. I love that horse. Horse? Horse? Who's horse? Am I going mad? I love that horse is taming it. I mean, mid-showdown here. My god. I just watched the video back. Their name wasn't Horse. I didn't rename them. What? What, that, what happened? Their name randomly changed mid-episode. What? <laughs> what the hell is going on? I've never, ever seen that before. That's your, like, real name as well. It's the same character. I... Uh, I, I, cringe, I don't know what's in this chocolate, big man, but I'm, I'm freaking out right here. Is this all a weird fever dream? <laughs> oh my god. Where is Uwu Platypi? Is he safe? <gasps> no. My god, you were a hero. Look at this. <laughs> it's like Galatross levels. Wow, he took down everyone. Nobody could fell him. Now you imagine that hopped up on Yeo in the middle of a maze. This is, this is going to be incredible. What sort of opinion game do you think we'll get from 2,000 chocolate? Who am I sending it to? The moderators. Plus 19? Oh, really? Well, that's disappointing. Brilliant. That means we would have to give them 20,000 chocolate of that quality to win them over. <laughs> I'm never going to financially recover from this. Little sprinkles. Oh... Loompas, at long last. Thank God for that. I've only been waiting three hours. What are we up against? 22 very well-armed Loompas. Okay. This is it, team. This is what we've been training for. If they decide to smash down the front... Don't do it. What are they doing? What are they doing? Wondering. They're preparing. They're preparing. It's okay. My biggest fear is that one day they'll spawn and they'll just go straight through the spaceport and bypass all of this. Maybe I should double thicken up these walls. You know what? That's a really... Really good idea. Let's just go ahead and throw another layer around that. Mr. Cringe is on the utility console. The rest of the Loompa squad are ready to go. Look at the shuttles frantically leaving the map. Ah, oh, my visitors. Goodbye. I hope they didn't pay for a bed. Actually, maybe I hope they do. I'm all right with that. Hey, get out. The Loompas are here. Run while you still can. Run while you can. Okay, let's just double check. Is there a straight route to us? They go up through here, round through here, through the thinly veiled metaphor, through the maze. We haven't got anything in the middle of the maze. Ah, shit. 
Um, platypi, 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 platypi. Uh, expand the loud area. Uh, let's make a new area. We're gonna call it Killer Platypi. Plati platypi? Is that how you spell that? I don't. Uh, I'll be honest. I'm beyond caring. Right, you sit there. No, 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 no. You, yeah, fine, good. And then we say a little platypi. A uh, little uwu platypi. Get in there as soon as possible. Uh, that wall is surface. Okay, right. So that means it's it's down. That's good. Okay. Platypi rushes over with with speed and haste. Don't you? Platypi. What? Speed and haste. Ah, oh, there he is. Speed and haste. Run, little guy. God, I hope they don't set off before he gets there. We're going to be doomed if they attack before we've got everything in position. Come on. Okay, they're, they're beginning their assault. Platypi's almost there. Don't panic. Come on, come on. Run, 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 run. Oh, come on, little guy. you got so far to go still. That's okay. The Loompas are immediately in the childhood nightmare house. They're not... Ah! I mean, I knew they'd try and smash it up a little bit, but... That's it. That's it. Come on. Pass through. Pass through. Yes. Destroy his childhood. Yes. What a powerful metaphor. He's through. Surface the wall. Oh, no. Now you're forced to take a different route, Stinky. Platypie's in there. Okay. Hide that. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. They're running down there. Good, good, good. And then... Oh, no. We're going to have to surface that one and that one now. Excellent. Excellent. The first guy is through. They're all getting too distracted. They're all getting far too distracted. Excellent. Excellent. This guy's just going through trying to fuck everyone else up. Okay. Okay, ready? The first guy's almost through. Let's go ahead and surface that one. And what, what, what else have they run over? Why are you doing this? We're going to such weird order. The first guy's through. Release the platypus. Release the platypus. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. And then... How do I get it to attack? I haven't really planned this out yet. We need to we need to search and destroy for the platypi. I'm just gonna send him I'm just gonna let him go butt wild. I'm gonna let him go butt wild on these people. There, there you go. Uh clear allowed area. Ooh, no no no, kill a platypi. This this'll all be automatic eventually, okay? This is just testing it. We're just seeing this is obviously not not functional right now. It's not functional. Right, go little platypi, kill. Destroy. Okay, surface that one. Very good, very good, very good. Oh, oh no, you're all going to trigger this one too. Well, that's going to leave your friends right there in the platypi's path. Oh, you absolute fools. I can't believe you've done this. Excellent. There you go. And now they have to run all the way up and around here. There's the platypi. Kill him. Yes. What a guy. I don't think he'll be able to take on that many loompas. Oh. Oh, what's that? what happened, little... What the... What's going on here? Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> we'll worry about that later. You're not trapped in here. Ah! With the Loompus little platypi. They're trapped in there with you. Wow, they did most of his job for them. I just killed one another. In a, in a vicious display. Okay, that's a problem with this room. If they can just walk over the stoves, that's not really going to help us out too much, is it? Those were there for decoration, so I guess I'll have to remove those. That's why we're testing it, okay? That's the entire point of this segment. I mean, that thing's going to be a lot more vicious also when we've done a little... <laughs> a little bit of surgery on it. Right now, it's just got to peck at them until they die. Man, I don't want you to destroy all of that every single time. Oh, that's going to be really annoying to rebuild. But you know what? It, it's to help Cringe get over his childhood trauma, okay? That's, that's, that's part, of the, part of the experience. Wow, they really are just stuck on the platypi, aren't they? Well, not really worried about that one so much. They've effectively turned this room into exactly what I wanted it to be anyway. I have a feeling the platypi is not going to be able to stop that many. Maybe it'll pleasantly surprise me. I have a feeling they're probably shooting one another more than they're... More than they're damaging the platypi at this point. Let's put up those two walls and then those two as well. Uh, eventually, I'll find a way to make this all nice and automated. Why are you turning around? They keep body blocking one another. Maybe they're like... Maybe, maybe we've broken them. Maybe mentally we've already done... We've already done enough to, to demoralize them. And there's a massive blazing inferno in the oven room. Which is intentional, but not quite in that way. <laughs> oh, you fools. You cannot stop Uwu Platypi 1. They might actually stop Uwu Platypi 1 at this rate. Wow, they're not going to get past him, are they? I mean, while those guys, uh, they have just lit themselves on fire. This has worked perfectly. And it wasn't even my doing. <laughs> Run. Run, Loompa. Wow, I was not expecting this kind of response. I love the Platypi, I do. But if it's... Uh, I mean, all they would need to do is destroy, like, a wall immediately next to them. They'd be thrown into the 
the staff tunnel, then they'd be able to just run right up to us and bypass the rest of the maze. I hate to say it, I, although the plant's plan is hilarious, I don't think it's got... I don't think it's got the viciousness we need for this maze. I think we're going to need something else. What the, what the hell? Oh! What? <laughs> There's something honking in there. Have they sent it? Have they knocked it down? Oh, it's down. Okay, now they can progress on. Oh, it's on fire? Holy crap. Oh my god, it's taking so much damage, the game lag's opening it. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Just so many UI elements the game gives up. 137 gunshots to the body. Oh god, close it down. My god, if we can find a way to make them durable. Oh, brilliant. Thank you for that. If we can find a way to make them durable, we've got something going for us here. The Wait, candy is flammable. Wait, what? <gasps> ah. Ah. Oh, come on. Really? Well, that's the whole house of nightmares gone. On the plus side, they're still on fire of their own accord. So that's... That's nice. Oh, look, and they are still going in the... Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Divide some down different paths. They can't decide which way they want to go. Come on, lads. Hurry it up. My people are going to break down by the time you get here. We might have to move forward and start gunning them. Burning fire size 175. Oh, man. I'm so sorry, little Platzby. I would try and save you if I can. What are you doing? No! They've given up and are leaving? What's the biggest anticlimax of them all? Oh, it's too complicated. Shit. That's because of the bloody platypie. It, it held them off for hours and hours and hours on end. It wouldn't be such a big deal if we didn't have that guy there. Otherwise, they'd have gone through that in, in an hour rather than 10, you know? Oh, hello. They're afraid to enter your territory for the following reasons. Um, All right, I'll show you safety. Don't worry about it. Well, now we've got to go put out the fire. And to do that, we've got to get through these other lumpers. You know what? Let's just draft you guys up. Uh, you know what, Sigma? You carry on, friend. And you, horse. We'll just gun them as they come around this corner. Let's come down here. Uh, actually, you know, come, come back here. Bring them down, team. Thoroughly disappointing. But I'm glad I didn't hype it up too much. I'm glad we tested it before we did the, the, the full attempt. So all of these candy walls will scrap and we'll replace that with, with full-on granite walls instead. You think we can save the platypie? We're fast. Oh, shit. You okay? <gasps> An infection in his right kidney. I'll be honest, that's the least of his concerns. Uh, uh, mad wild balls? Oh, on the plus side, they might kill the lumpers on the way through, or they'll run right past. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, get the lumpers, get the lumpers. That's it, that's it, that's it. No! Who would platypie one? Oh, my friend. I just clicked read more, and it's actually crashed the game. Oh! <laughs> there we go, there we go. It's okay, we're fine. I will build a statue in Uwu Platypie's honor. The first tester. Oh my god, there are wild boars in the in the maze somewhere. I heard it. This is horrible. Combat music's ended. That was I was I was terrible. That was beyond terrible. That was shit. That was un, un, unforgivable. <laughs> Maybe fireproof the base. That's the first thing. Fireproof the base and and put something a bit more fierce than than a freaking cute platypus in the maze. That might help. There is actually oh my god right there, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. A polar bear styled head designed by Mr. Cringe himself. Mr. Cringe heard about a Frederick Bear robot that people were afraid of. This prompted him to design the jaw casket. Jaw casket is a fantastic pun. Well done. The weird caskets, Freddy Faz caskets, and more model author has added in a full-on jaw casket. A Joris War casket. And there it is, my friends. Give me that right away. Who are we going to seal in? It's, it's a war casket, right? We need to seal someone into it. We do still have a looper in the prison. Are you any good at combat? Not really. We capture him. Do as much surgery as we can do with the tech limitations that we have, which is to say not very much at all. We get like a pain stopper, um, a joy wire maybe, just so we can sit him in the maze for a while without breaking down. We don't have... We don't have bionics. We don't have any sort of advanced combat bionics in this one, unfortunately. All the modification kits. I don't think that's going to help us. What have we got in the... Fabrication mentioned nothing. Oh, the most advanced thing we've got here is mechanoid combat gear. Move speed plus 0 0.2, aiming time minus 20%, pain shock threshold plus 20%. That could be fine, I suppose. Everything we could possibly get, we've got to get from exotic goods traders. Or, no, 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 hang on. We can get it from the chests. 
these can still spawn in the, the, the spacer tech stuff. We can't invent it. We're not that smart, but we can get it. Power cores, venom fangs, spare lungs, spare livers. I'll take the lot. Phanometric power cell. Ooh, infinite chem reactors will be great. I'll take a mega screen television, too, for the lumpers. Wow. Hey, this is nice. Boulder turret trap? Indiana Jones it? Say no more. I'm in. We need the plastil. I'll take that, too. Oh, wow. This is actually going to be... Oh, this is... uh, why have they got 2,500 mint choco cookies? I don't understand. They're the ones that turn you into a slime girl. Very bizarre. Uh, you guys want to buy some chocolate? Because I'm, uh, I'm known for that type of thing, you see? Yeah, take the lot. Sincerely, it's all yours, my friend. How much they got? They got three thousand left over. Uh, let's do a little, do a little trade here. You know what? Keep the change. It's on. It's on cringe. Here we go. Oh, this is the beginning of something incredible. The infinite chem reactors are seriously, seriously nice because that's what we're using to make the the choco fuel, and that's also what we need to make the choco alloy as well. The really, really powerful one, if I remember. We can make Mr. Cringe a plate armor set made of the finest, most tempered chocolate in the realm. That could be quite fun. Well, given that the Loompas now are unionized and are full-on colonists, I guess I'll upgrade their rec room a tad bit more than they have right now. Not that it needs much of an upgrade, but a few arms, chairs here and there, maybe some maybe some trees kind of brighten it up a tad bit. Oh, are our people, do they take any damage that's worth mentioning? Not massively. Not massively. You're fine-ish. Uh, your left eye is kind of hanging on there. Uh, literally hanging on. Probably hanging out is the right word. Ooh, Sigma. Sigma Draconis got hit by... In the brain by a light SMG shot. Oh, man. You are a head crafter, too. And now you're a, a head crafter. That's it. I'm going to have to craft you a new head. Uh, regeneration cycle cures. Oh, we need glycerol medicine for it. We can't get it. We'd have to get it from the lucky chest. I'm kind of surprised to learn that these aren't glitter tech or spacer level. They're just industrial, apparently. Very bizarre. that this has been an un unequivocally a disaster. I've never been more disappointed to watch my hard work go up in flame. Who could have predicted that the raiders would have attacked the stuff that I'd built? That's never happened before. <laughs> but as a little, as a little redemption prize, as a, as a little something just to titillate the senses somewhat, we're gonna, we're gonna gamble. We're gonna gamble. We're gonna crack these open. And we're gonna see what madness comes out. So let's take a peek. Maybe there'll be some advanced technology that we can never possibly get. You filled the map. Uh, you know what? Sometimes I feel like it. We've got a joy wire. That's lovely. We've got a fancy plant pot and some urns of which you can bury me in. What have we got? <laughs> what have we got in this one? Oh, venom talons. Hey, that's what we're after. Okay, good. I don't know if venom talons work from within a war casket. We'll have to cross that hurdle when we get there. Venometric power cells are always well received. Let's take a quick peek behind box number three. 25 silver. Wow, I got ripped off. Thank you. And then we have uh, everything. Okay, another venometric power cell. Bloody hell. Uh, elbow blade. Oh, that sounds good. And then, the most dangerous of all, we're going to open Pandora's box twice. Oh, well, that's just good. What have they landed? Oh, Hugh, I'm sorry. I almost got you killed there, pal. Uh, and then the other one was here. That's okay. That's actually quite nice. And then finally, without further ado, ah. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Okay. I'm really not going to complain about that one unless we kill someone with it again. All right, that wasn't bad at all. And we've got the start of the things we might need to make this jaw, jaw, jaw casket as horrifying as it sounds. So here is what I'm going to do for you all. A cringe lord promise like no other. I'm going to redesign this. Not redesign it fully, but but take what we've got here and make it work. I mean, the, the, the jaw casket is going to solve the maze issues. This bit here... I love the idea of, of it of it being a um, unintentional extrapolation of Mr. Cringe's personality and fears and nightmares and, you know, repressed trauma. But simultaneously, I don't want to have to rebuild that shit every single time. Again, uh, uh, perhaps the most apt metaphor of all. No one can help you. No one can help you. Don't try and better yourself because someone will always come and tear it down. Thank you for watching. <laughs> If you've been affected by any of the issues raised in tonight's show, you can always have a look at the Discord because we have a positivity channel where you can complain. And that's what it's there for. Thank you in the meantime to, of course, the executive producers who have funded the roof collapsing and really not getting much to show for it. Thank you to Feraldus, Gazoos, my name is Indio, and Abomination, Atubes, Zeno, Rage Dragon, Spongy1312, Officer Pappy, Mythomatic, Passy6, nope, Passy965, 
DQ, Super Careful Fragile's Lipsticks, Actually Atrocious Dark White, The Grim, Zevin Wolf, Bobson Dugner, and Londa for their support at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you all for your support over there. And finally, a thank you to Omegador, Wargaming Dad, Ractanian, Erotha, Callum James 3, Plasma, Red Noah, Chief Werewolf, Yolo Ninja, Thura, Dunamite, Infectious, K, Atreusen, and Rem Duel as well. See you all tomorrow for a new and improved and best iteration yet of the Cringe Corridor. Mark my words.